Hello YouTube, Lead Farmer 73 here. I got a lot of fruit trees, citrus, peaches, you name it. I pretty much got a got about it all. But I tell you what, I have one of my favorites right here. Um uh, you don't I mean you you hear about it, it's very common, but I'm telling you I, I gotta put this on video because of how beautiful this has turned out. This is my Mexican lime tree, the key lime, the smaller limes. This here, this is on a dwarf rootstock. And this thing just surprised the crap out of me. I had it in a smaller bucket and I repotted it in a, uh, a bigger bucket. And I tell you what, it has grown five times its size. I said this in another video, but I, I thought I would do a little bit more uh, footage on just this key lime bush. This thing is five foot tall now. It used to be two feet tall at the beginning of the summer. And uh, I tell you what, let's see if we can find some fruit. We eat these all the, well, we use this fruit all the time with our drinks and partying. And here's one here. And uh, so there's not much fruit left on it, but as you can see, every time I pull the fruit off, it's it. This is new foliage. This is new growth here. This thing just springs up into action every time. I got it everywhere. I'm telling you, if you don't use chicken poop, you you really need to change what you're doing because this thing grows and grows. Well, all of my citrus trees grow. Uh, very well using that organic fertilizer. Here's more fruit. Uh, here's even more down here. Some left. You can catch that. But yeah, try try chicken poop, chicken manure. Uh, of course, have it composted. Uh, you know, it doesn't cost that much. But I'm a I'm a cheapskate, so I started raising chickens myself to get the the poop. So I got a couple of chickens. I'll show you them real fast. Got a couple of chickadees. Say hello, girls. Got a couple of chickens. Just for the poop and the eggs. I mean, what can you do? So yeah, this guy has really turned out to be spectacular just spectacular. I can't even imagine how much bigger it's going to get with all this new growth. It's, now it's about three feet wide and five feet tall. This this thing is just beautiful. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I see a lot of people, you know what, and I was a, I was a victim of this too. You go out and you buy these big beautiful clay pots you know, they're not expensive, but they're not inexpensive either. The bigger you get, the more it's going to cost you. And I got to be honest with you, I bought a couple of these and I stopped once I found this out. If you just go to your local Walmart, look at this. This is what I started using. This is some really thick, flexible, durable plastic. I got this from Walmart. It's nothing more than a laundry basket. You know, I drilled some holes in the bottom and around the sides, as you can see, around the sides and some on the bottom for drainage. And these things cost like five bucks, okay? That's it. So that way, you know, versus the clay pot is gonna run you anywhere from $15 and up. But this thing, for $15, I can get three pots. So that's what I did. I start putting everything in these pots. I mean, you can't beat five bucks. And to be totally honest with you, this one over here, this lemon tree, as you can see how muddy it is, this one's been in this pot for three and a half years. And it hasn't cracked, it hasn't looked it's still durable and flexible. It sits in the sun. The black, the black of the container actually heats the roots up uh, from the sun. The solar uh, drinks up those solar rays. 
so it keeps the roots warm on those colder days. It, it's just an excellent, excellent pot. I think it's about a 15 gallon, about a 15 gallon pot. And you just can't lose. It's, it's excellent. It's been working out for me just, just perfect. So don't go spending a lot of money on, uh, on your pots, guys. I mean, uh, unless you're really going for for show and it's in your household, and then you you spend some money. But if it's just sitting out on your patio, and I tell you one other thing that's good about it, when it gets cold outside and you got to haul all these things into the garage or your greenhouse, look, you get some help. You grab a side, and somebody else grab a side, and if you got, you know. If you got it like that, you can grab both of them. But there you go, handles to grab that big pot. You cannot do that with the clay pot at all. You got to get a dolly, which I do have. You grab your dolly, you got to go through all that crap, you know. But with these pots, you just grab the handles and go. How easy is that? But again, thank you for watching. Here's my video on my key lime. I'll I said I was going to stay dedicated to it, but I never do. All right. Thank you so much. Lead Farmer 73, and I am out.